Coming up next on Jersey Matters, Congressman Frank Pallone says the Gateway Tunnel Project is in jeopardy because of the federal budget. Also, a new program to get you and me to help victims of accidents and shootings stop the bleeding. And a former state police officer says the way to fight the opioid crisis is to let people shoot up. Those stories and a whole lot more because Jersey Matters. Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We come to you this week from the Rio Diner in Woodbridge, New Jersey, to speak with 6th District Democratic Congressman Frank Pallone. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you, Larry. Uh, I, I wanted to start off with um, a, a representative you know very well, Steve Scalise, who sounds like he's going to be okay, sounds like he's going to make a good news this morning about his condition. But the, in the wake of the Alexandria shooting, that caused him to go to the hospital in critical, now serious condition. There's been a call to temper the rhetoric in Washington. But that same call to temper the rhetoric was after the shooting of Gabby Gifford. And it didn't last long. Do you have any hope that that could actually happen? Well, I think it's important that it does happen, although I do think that the idea that, you know, we're constantly yelling at each other and calling each other names isn't really true. Um, I think to some extent, and I know I, it's easy to blame the president, but I think that President Trump has really caused this to accelerate. It's not so much a problem with members of Congress themselves, because remember, we're more collegial and we know each other. Um, but I think that uh, to some extent the problem has accelerated uh, under President Trump because he really doesn't have that much interaction with members. A lot of times he's just tweeting and saying things that uh, that sort of up the ante in terms of the rhetoric. So, um, yes, it's important to lower the rhetoric, but I don't, I, I want to emphasize that I don't really think it's as bad as people think, at least within the Congress itself. But that's what we see. Yeah. That's what we see. And, and so, do you blame at all the coverage that, because Donald Trump knows how to get coverage. Exactly. If, if he uses the right type of rhetoric, he's going to get on television. Right. Someone who doesn't use that rhetoric doesn't get on television. I do blame the media to some extent. I mean, I don't want to put all the blame on you guys, but I do blame the media to some extent because I do think that people, politicians know that if they say bad things or call each other names, they're more likely to be on TV. To some extent, some of the, some of the uh, TV programs have taken it to the extreme. Like, I was, I was, I think I mentioned it before, Larry, that I think it's the Washington Journal, which is, is that the C-SPAN? Yes, yeah, C-SPAN, exactly. Journal. You know, I, every once in a while, they'll ask me to go on. And I really don't like the fact that when they have call-ins, they'll have people identify their party. They'll say, well, you're a Democrat, Republican, before you can even call in. And it, you know, it just it kind of it kind of irks me that someone has to identify their party even before they can ask a question. It, it's dividing us. Yeah, it's dividing us before anything even happens. So I mean, there's definitely the media is partially to blame. I mean, I'm not going to blame them completely, but it is partially to blame. I think. But let's talk about a bipartisan effort in in New Jersey. All 14 uh, lawmakers that serve in Washington got together to come out against seismic testing which could lead to oil drilling off of the New Jersey coastline. Uh, the Republicans are in the majority, and uh, I know the Secretary of Energy has said, hey, I have good news when he was talking to the people in the offshore oil, in, in offshore oil industry. Is this a fait accompli? Is it going to happen? Well, I mean, it seems like the President and the Interior Department under his leadership are pretty determined to do almost anything that the oil interests want. Um, and I think it's significant that you say that, you know, the New Jersey Republicans, I think every one of them actually was against it. Again, it, when you talk about environmental issues, until President Trump came along, uh, on many of these environmental issues, you know, it was bipartisan and we were trying to prevent offshore drilling in the Atlantic. We didn't want the seismic testing. And there are other examples. I mean, um, I would say the majority of the towns along the coast in New Jersey probably have Republican mayors and council, but they're not in favor of oil drilling because it would destroy the tourism industry. And I would think that would be the case up and down the East Coast. I think that's largely true, sure. And so this, is there something that Congress can do? 
Well, I don't know that we can get to Congress because the, 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 the Republican leadership in the House and the Senate is probably pro-drilling and pro-seismic testing. It's more of a regional phenomenon where, you know, those, those that live along the coast see the, the danger. You know, if you think about it, you're talking about right now the actual proven reserves for oil and natural gas off the Atlantic probably are only a couple weeks world supply, right? As opposed to a multi-billion dollar tourism industry. If you have to weigh those two things, there's absolutely no way that you come out in favor of drilling. Because uh, in terms of jobs and the economy, the tourism industry is much more important. But it's important for our viewers to understand this seismic testing would be the first step. Yes, sure. A and so if, if that gets approved, that's, that's the first step towards oil drilling. Right, and that's why we've always opposed it. The seismic testing is basically these loud, loud sounds uh, that the oil companies use to try to determine where the, where the reserves are for oil and gas, where they could drill. But, um, so it's not only the first step to the drilling, which obviously we don't want, but also the environmentalists claim that it has a negative impact on uh, marine mammals and different marine life as well. I, I wanted to talk about the Gateway Project. Uh, Governor Christie's come out recently and said that the cut in funding that uh, Donald Trump has talked about in his spending plan will have no effect on the Gateway Project. Yeah, I don't Are you confident in that? No, absolutely not. You see, the problem is, well, first of all, we should have done the, the tunnel when we had the $15 billion or whatever it was, you know, when Christie was first elected, and that was a huge mistake. But Trump has said two things. First of all, he's cut back on transportation funding uh, in his proposed budget, including the new starts program, which would be used to pay for the tunnel. Uh, in addition, he's talked about a larger infrastructure package, but that hasn't come to fruition. So I would be very concerned that the cuts, if the cuts that President Trump has proposed in the budget came to fruition, that the money wouldn't be there for Gateway. And uh, I, I think it's likely that the Congress won't listen to Trump on his budget, but we can't count on that. I mean, you know, uh, Christie should be criticizing Trump and saying, don't make those cuts. So much I want to talk to you about, but we'll stay on infrastructure when we come back because you have your own proposal that I'd like to talk about. And also, uh, you are in the forefront in the fight against net neutrality, for net neutrality. Jersey Matters continues right after this.